Who you are is an absolute miracle. Why do we waste our human potential? Find out. Hey friends, Noah Hammond here, back with some more advice. And today we're going to talk about human potential and why I think we waste an abundance of our human potential. So let me start off by saying that you watching this video right now, I don't need to actually know you to say this and to know for sure with certainty that you have an abundance of potential and that who you are in this world can be incredible that you can impact so many people simply with your love, with your light, and with your greatest gifts, which is really whatever makes you the most happy. I know that for certain. Yet I also see a society, especially in the West, where human potential is just wasted. What I see in Western society is a mind virus that says, you're nothing special. Eh, you're nothing special. There's a mind virus that says you are not exceptional. You are not brilliant. You are not beautiful. You are not creative. You are not divine. There's a mind virus that says that you're not much. And then the best thing you can hope for in your life is to get a job after getting an education and then work that job and maybe move up in it and eventually retire. That's your life plan and that's what's been fed to us. So what I want to point out in this is in this video is what your human potential truly is and where this bad programming comes from, where this mind virus comes from. We base our self worth on what our performance in school was. School, being good at school is one very specific skill. And it's a skill that only some people have the tolerance for. And for a lot of us, especially our, our more creative, our more heart centered types, school was a pretty difficult journey. So growing up, we got fed that we're not good enough, that we're not special, that we're not an A student, that we're not a, a gold star receiver, right? We got the waving finger. We got the be quiets, we got the turn it downs and we got the, you know, straighten up and all those things, right? And, and my voice is particularly loud. So when the entire class would be chattering, they would go, Noah, quiet. <laughs> I feel like looking around, it actually got funny eventually because it would happen just like that every time. But you know, when I was in school, I got told that I was wrong and bad almost every single day. I got sent to the principal's office almost every single day until I straightened up and flew right, until I ado adopted their indoctrination that getting good grades was the most important thing. And ultimately, what it did was it stole my power, it stole my creativity, it stole my childlike curiosity, it stole my desire to learn and to, and to achieve and to excel and to conquer and to challenge myself. It took all that away from me so that I could sit in a desk. And the intention behind school is to turn you into a great employee, someone who's very comfortable sitting in a cubicle, serving some repetitive task as some cog in some big machine, right? Our current schooling system is actually just a product of the industrial revolution and the need for a massive amount of factory workers and middle management. So this paradigm is totally old news, right? It's on its way out. Education 10 years from now will look nothing like how education looks today. But what you can do right now is recognize the way in which your human potential might have been squandered, the way in which you might have been programmed to really settle for a job that's not in full alignment with your truest gifts, your pure passion, for a lifestyle that's not in full alignment with who you really are. Really ask yourself, why do you do the things you do? Why do you go to the bars and the clubs each and every weekend? Why do you really buy the things you buy? Dress the way you dress, act the way you act. 
Why do you really go to the job that you go to or make money the way you make money? Why do you really? Is it because it's what's in your heart? Is it because it's aligned with your purest, most expressive form of human potential? Or is it because it was fed to you in this system that fed us all how to think, how to act, and how to be? So this video, my friends, is really just a call to action to recognize the ways in which you might be squandering your own human potential and to at least plant the seed, the seed of, of growth, of opportunity, and of your own divinity, of your own miraculous nature, of the fact that whatever it is you have to contribute in you that is unique to society, just as unique as you are in the world, is your greatest gift and absolutely must come out now. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope it's gotten things moving a little bit. Uh, if you are a man looking to live your greatest potential, that is exactly what we teach in the True Man Academy. And it all starts off with a free training called the True Man Training, which you can get at truemanacademy.com. So I hope you check that out. I hope you found this inspiring. Please comment below. Let me know what thoughts you're thinking, how this has hit for you, what's really occurring for you right now. Please like the video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. And please check me soon for the next video. Much love.